Hey guys, today let's take a look at Ed's Barbecue Cooker in Coral Castle. In the southeast corner of Coral Castle, Ed has placed a massive cuboid artifact which is 8 feet tall and each side is about 4 feet wide. Ed has cut out the inside of the rock and made windows on each side. He has created a pit in the center for fire and a vent at the top to air out the smoke. A few inches above the pit, Ed has hung a large round metallic object which is a rear axle differential from the Model T4 1925. It could be opened and a football could fit in there more or less. What is this weird looking structure? The explanation I heard was not impressive. Edward Lee Scallon used this to cook chicken and hot dogs. He would create a fire in the pit and insert the food into the differential. Now we have an airtight vessel, the differential, which cooks the food faster and will prevent it from splattering all over the place. Ed imagined his sweet 16 will come and use this cooker to make him food on a daily basis. Now this explanation would be true if Ed lived a demented fantasy life, which he clearly did not. Plus, Ed already had two kerosene stoves, one in the tower set up with pots and pans which still exist today. The other stove was in his wooden cabin. Most people don't know that Ed did not live inside the castle walls. He lived in a wooden cabin behind Coral Castle which burned down a decade after his death. So why did Ed spend the time and energy to build an 8 foot tall cooker? As I inspected the bottom of the cooker, I found something truly exciting. Ed has embedded a pipe almost at ground level which was connected to the fire pit. The hole in the middle of the fire pit was not just a straight hole. It was an L-shaped tunnel carefully drilled to be connected with the bottom pipe. On the bottom pipe, Ed has fitted an iron flanged coupling with holes for bolts. I told you Ed was a genius. This is incontrovertible evidence that the cooker is in fact a blacksmithing forge. He would have fitted a hand crank blower at the bottom pipe and would force the air from the bottom to the top. This would create a high intensity flame at the top making it perfect for blacksmithing operations. Even today, you can walk into Ed's tool room and find many odd shaped metal objects of various sizes. These tools have tags on them that says unknown because experts can't figure out how and why Ed used them. These mysterious objects prove that Ed fashioned his own tools from used car parts by forging them in the quote unquote barbecue cooker. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. The hanging iron differential takes the blacksmithing forge to a whole new level. But you can read it in my book, Coral Castle Everything You Know Is Wrong. I've explained several devices like this including Ed's mirror and his quote unquote bathtub. Now I announced a book just yesterday and some of you have already bought it. Thank you so much for your support. You can go to chapter 6 titled Misunderstood Megalithic Devices and look at the other devices. If you like this book, please do give me ratings and reviews on Amazon because this information needs to be known to the public. The barbecue cooker is a classic example of what's going on in Coral Castle. People don't understand why Ed built Coral Castle, so they just assume that all these objects found all over the place or just meaningless creations of an eccentric man. Now think a minute, the only reason why we know about Ed's sundial and his telescope is because Ed himself wrote about them in his books and pamphlets, otherwise the sundial would have been a cooking bowl for Ed's Sweet 16. You can see here there is a plaque on this device that is labeled Ed's cooker. If everybody gets to know about this video or the book, this plaque will change very soon. We need to rename this as Ed's Blacksmithing Forge. 
In my next videos, you will realize that we're going to change a lot of things about Coral Castle. Oh, by the way, some of my Indian subscribers have asked me if I will post videos about India soon. I will post them on alternate days. So tomorrow I'll post about India and the day after I'll post about the US and so on. I'm Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Do share this video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.